Hey y'all, it's Andre. I finally settled into my dorm, so I'm gonna show y'all over my room. This is how it looks. This is it. And there's a corner room, so there's a little bit of a view. A view of nothing. This is just trees. Okay, now that I'm settled in, I actually really admire the view because the city can get overwhelming from time to time. So it's nice to recenter yourself and look at nature. And I'm very grateful to even be in a dorm because as an exchange student, it's very hard to get a room. So all in all, I'm just very grateful to be in the position that I am. Okay, I have one suitcase done, and I'm gonna take a break. Let me show y'all the gifts that HKU gave us. They had this welcome gifts prepared for us, and we're gonna open it. Over here is an HKU tote bag. Let me open it up for y'all so y'all can see. Here it is, the HKU logo. And then inside here, what do we have? This is an HKU mug, so. Yeah, these are really cool, and these are really nice, actually. I would use these. Here's the desk area. This is where I come to do my work. So I have everything that I could need. I have my keyboard, my microphone, and I have these little decorations to just kind of give it a popping look. So there's the Kuritama, and there's the Pikachu, and then I also have some photos of my family and friends back at home just to give me a daily reminder and yeah these are just some things that I use every day and a little snack pile let me tell y'all I like have this tendency to just buy snacks and not eat them so I just have to have them in front of my face every day just to remind me to like you need to get this done so no more snacks for me until I finish that whole pile but there's also some little drawers and nothing too much, just some drawers. And let's look into closet space. Well, first of all, look at this. So there's actually a lot of like closet space. Um, it's very tall. Um, like there's nothing over there and there's nothing over here. I just felt like I had to utilize the space somehow. So I just figured I'd put my suitcases up there, but clearly they can't fit in all the way. So I'm just letting it open up, but that just gives us more room to just walk around. But let's open it up. So once you open it up, you see a mirror. And this is really perfect because sometimes when you're like planning out your outfit for the day, you don't know what you look like. So I don't need to buy a mirror. It's already built in the closet. So this is how the inside looks like. I don't really have any hangers because my clothes actually fit in these two drawers below. So I just folded them up nicely, organized, and yeah, that kind of saved me a lot. I kind of didn't want to buy hangers because I have so many back at home and I wish I brought some, but it's okay, it's whatever because I don't really need them. So this is a robe, um, my haul, we have these high table dinners which is basically like a formal dinner with everybody in the hall just to like get to know one another and we have this guest speaker so they give us a robe to kind of dress up and these are a few clothes that I have I guess the only thing that's left is my bed this is a twin XL bed um, not exactly though because when I went to Ikea there was only like one size available and it was just that but of course I have to have my Rulukuma so I went out and bought some. <laughs> so I actually found these in Mangkok and these were really, really cheap. And that's not good for me because every time I see Vilukuma, I have to walk in and I have to just like, look, but I'm bound to buy something from it. So no more Vilukuma for me. Actually, that's a lie. I, you know I'm gonna buy Vilukuma. <laughs> but okay, on the bottom of the bed, there are some drawers. So on the outsides, there, these don't work, like these don't open up. And I don't know why, but over here it's just like miscellaneous. Um, and over here is also another food stash. So I have on my cup noodle, I have like a few that I bought actually. And these are like a lot different from America. And I have some cashews, uh, peach black tea. This is like my new favorite obsession. Also, I've been obsessed with these lately and I don't know why. Wait, I actually forgot one thing. So this room can get very hot. 
Hong Kong in general is like very humid. So we do have an AC in our room, but it isn't free per se. Uh, we get a card with every room and you have to kind of load it up with money. And when you enter the room, there's some switches. So these are the light switches, but these are the AC switches. And over here, you have to scan your card and you have to put in at least $10 at a time. And apparently the AC runs on how much power it uses. So you would think it's like maybe like $10 an hour, but no, it's like $10 per X amount of watts. So yeah, it's kind of interesting, but $10 seems to last me the whole night, so it's okay. And 10 Hong Kong dollars is like equivalent to one US dollar basically, so it's not too bad. I'm really glad that there is AC because, oh my god, like I needed some way to escape this heat. Yeah, that's my room, and I'll see y'all in the next video. So I'm gonna A slay and bye.